All right, folks. So it's nine o'clock and I am uh, sitting here in an empty classroom, an um, empty lab, uh, and I am going to be going over some uh, tools that I'm using for remote delivery of instruction, um, but also going to be going over, um, why can't I hear this out of there? I should be able to hear myself. Select a speaker. Yeah, why are we not? What is that? Is that? Can I hear that now? Hey, Sam, what's up? Can you hear me okay, Sam? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Uh, I can hear you. Can you awesome. Hear me? Yeah, where are you at today, Sam? Uh, we are currently walking around the college trying to put projector screens down. I'm with Garrett. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. So um, I'm going to go through uh, and work on Google Calendar stuff today for getting organized. I don't know if you need that, but this will be a recording. So but thank you for checking in because for some reason I can't hear myself in my headphones and that's weirded me out a little bit here. That is weird. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. All right. So uh, I'm going to just talk. If you got any questions, let me know. So, hey, okay. World, World Health Organization, thank you for checking in. Uh, the, the one thing I'm going to ask you guys is that uh, you either turn me down or you um, have headphones on because um, I don't want to get the feedback. Should, should be okay, though. Or at least mute yourself. If you just mute yourself, you'll be fine. This is water, I swear. All right, everybody. So I apologize for the shaking screen here just because uh, the computer is on this table and it's not really stable. I'll do my best. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen as I work through this. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to go ahead and uh, screen two. You all can see the Slack, I hope. Uh, right now, can you see Slack? Bam. Awesome. Now, here's the issue that I have. How can I actually... There, it moves out of the way. Sweet. Can I drag this the toolbar for... Um, yes, I can drag the toolbar down. That's nice. The zoom toolbar I can drag to the bottom of the screen. So um, I'm going to go up into my Google Calendar. Bum, 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 bum. So everybody at Northwest State Community College, you all have a Google Calendar um, as part of your school Gmail account. Uh, one of the reasons I'm starting with this stuff about calendars is specifically because remote learning, online instruction, heck, even face-to-face, -face, like time management is so freaking vital um, that I'm going to start here because I want to make sure that I'm getting uh, my, my stuff together with regards to how I'm going to organize my time, make sure other people know how I'm organizing my time because there's going to be meetings, there's going to be additional student interactions um, during this time. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to start by uh, deleting some of the stuff that I know I don't need. Uh, Esports practice, um, yes, we're going to be reassigning that. So figure out a way to do that remotely. I'll get rid of all that. Uh, got some meetings in here, uh, student worker, when they'll be here working with me today. Um, so I kind of have a clean slate here. There's a couple Zoom meetings that I put in. So I'm going to show you how to do uh, meetings, or basically individual blocking off of time for stuff like opening email. I'm going to show you, and responding to email, I'm going to show you how to do... Uh, uh, set up Zoom meetings, all that kind of good stuff. You can come in if you want, man. Careful, that 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 right there is picking up people if you don't want to be on the screen. Yeah, hide. Need anything? Okay. I'll let you know when I'm done. Yes, just making it happen here. All right. So, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be at school at 8 o'clock every day. Uh, by eight o'clock every day. And one of the first things that I'm going to want to do is check my email. I know that with what's going on, uh, email the communication from students and others is going to get a little crazy. So I'm going to block off my time, right? The only way to get control of your time is to actually block off your time. So what I'm going to do is I can click right here and I can do a couple things, create an event out of office appointment slots. I'm going to go and leave this as an event and I am going to call this check and respond to email. All right, I don't have to add any guests, time, room, none of, none of that type of stuff. Uh, the calendar, it's on my own personal calendar, but I'm gonna look at more options. 
Um, this is going to be something that I'm going to want to have repeat. So I can click over where it says do not re does not repeat and there's a drop down there and I can actually make this custom. And I can make this thing repeat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, heck even Saturday and Sunday if I wanted to. Uh, and I can actually set a time when it's going to end. And I'm going to make the assumption that we're going to do this for the rest of the semester. So uh, I'm going to make this end probably even past the end of the semester, right? Let's just go into uh, uh, end of May. I'll be doing checking school email because I'm sure that we're going to be dealing with some of the stuff after the fact. I can hit done. Um, I can add notifications. If you're using Gmail and Google Calendar on your phone, uh, you can get notifications on your phone when this stuff's going to be blocked off. Uh, and I can also change the color code to make my calendar a little bit you know, uh, more understandable for me. Uh, I don't think I use the Sage color, so I'm gonna use that for email to start out with. And then I can also change the uh, availability that I have, whether I'm busy or free. Um, I'm actually gonna mark this as busy because this is time I'm gonna need for myself getting, getting stuff together, responding to emails. So uh, in the description, this is my time to respond to emails. Sweet, and if I save this, boom, 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 you see in my calendar, uh, I have check and respond to email will appear now on every day. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome, right? Um, I'm probably also then going to, if I do that first thing in the morning, you know that there's gonna be things happening during the middle of the day. I'm probably gonna wanna do some of that stuff in the evening, um, probably before I go home, I'm, maybe that last half hour of the day, I can do that. So uh, again, uh, check and respond to email, five to 5.30, uh, go into more options, color code at the same color so I know what's going on. Uh, market is busy, time to respond to emails. And then up in the does not repeat, I'll do this again, I can make that custom. Uh, I can, where it says repeat on, I can select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I can have it end on uh, end of May. Save that, there we go. Uh, if I wanna edit, yeah, do you have a question? Or is that me? Is anybody even in here? Or is it me all by myself? It's fine either way. This will be recorded and shared. So if I click on this, I can also edit meetings as well. Um, or, or blocking off my time. So now if we look at some of the stuff I've got going on today, uh, I have, well, this week is gonna be an anomaly, right? This week is gonna be all kinds of gross things trying to sort out what we're gonna do. So I've got some general Q&A sessions, uh, uh, demoing Zoom and Slack and some other tools. So I'm actually gonna hop over to uh, the 23rd. So the 23rd, this is when classes are gonna resume with the, the remote portion of it. Uh, you can see my check and respond to emails is here. Um, I also have uh, da, 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 office hours. Now I'm gonna delete, well, I'm actually not gonna delete. I'm gonna keep my office hours as they were for now. Uh, I'm gonna add in an extra section for office hours and meetings. Um, but this, this, let's not confuse people any more than we have to. I'm gonna try as much as possible with organizing my time to maintain the schedule that I had previously. I think that's what's gonna be vital for the learners, right? Like this is not just free time now that you have to, 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 to play around or do whatever you want with. Like you're, there were specific times when you were supposed to be in class. There were specific times for things that you had to do as part of class. Taking control of your calendar, taking ownership of your time, that is the way that you're going to be successful. Online learning, remote learning, takes more responsibility for you as the learner than others. Um, or it impacts you, I think, more than, more than others, specifically because, you know, the K-12 people out there, you all were used to um, uh, on a bell, right? The bell rang and that's where you were supposed to be. You're not going to have that anymore. You're going to have to start making sure that you're taking control of your time. So um, I have... Uh, VCT 299, this is gonna be a screenwriting course. Um, this is on my own personal calendar and I've used this to keep track of uh, 
you know, my, my schedule. Um, if I edit this, you can see I can actually go in and now still even after the fact make this a Zoom meeting. Now this button appears here, make it a Zoom meeting because I installed the Chrome extension for Zoom. And then I had my institution install Zoom. Uh, you could have Hangouts here. You could have other things as well. Zoom is what I'm going to say is the go-to, the, the go-to here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a Zoom meeting. Uh, I'm going to put my video on. I'm going to require a meeting password simply because, simply because um, FERPA, making sure people are only in the space when they're supposed to be in the space. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to use my personal meeting ID. Uh, audio, people have the option to use uh, telephone or computer audio. And again, I'm going to go through a Zoom thing, but I'm just uh, on its own, but I'll go through kind of quickly here. Um, enable join before host. We're not going to want that. Mute participants on entry. No. Enable waiting. We'll just hit continue. There we go. There's the location also included in the field. Now, what I'm probably going to do at the end of this week is I'm probably going to add in the emails for all the students who are in that class. So it automatically will show up on their calendar. Now I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to freak them out. I'm going to do that after I have individual meetings or put out some information. Um, communication is going to be key here to avoid confusion. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to uh, let them know I'm going to add them before I actually add them. And I actually have meetings scheduled today with this class. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, optional meeting, but uh, I'm using it to try to see if people uh, what kind of access people have with technology using Zoom and stuff like that. So again, then in the meeting invite, a URL for the meeting shows up along with other information that people will need. I believe the password's probably in there too for joining. So uh, I already have this set up as a recurring meeting. So weekly, Monday, Wednesday until May 10th, that's when this class was supposed to, supposed to start or supposed to end. So uh, this is editing a previous post. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this for this event and all following events. Alex, are you there? Yep. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going nice, quiet, you know? Yeah. Uh, are you getting any, any insaneness going on? No, but I will say in my defense, I have two 24 ounces of Mountain Dew. So that'll either contribute to the madness or I'll run out and then the madness will ensue. So nice. it's almost like sedating myself. So, so I was talking to some high school kids this weekend. Um, my daughter's in high school and, and, and um, yeah, that's a longer story. Um, but like this, the thing that really concerns me the most is these high school kids now, parents are going to have to deal with the younger ones. These high school kids are going to have to start being responsible yep. for themselves. And I know most schools are using Google, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would be willing like to help and anybody that needs help setting up and showing demoing Google Calendar for these kids to actually get their 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 stuff together because they're so used to living their lives by a bell. Uh -huh. Now they don't have that bell. We got I think we have to we have to help them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd be up for that. Um, right now, I'm just waiting to see. So we aren't requiring online anymore. Now some teachers are still going to pursue it but we did not send devices home with K through six. So, so what does that mean? So that means mostly the online learning will probably be focused on high school. Just okay. because if they decided to bring their devices home, it just got to a point where we weren't able to guarantee access, internet access. And so we can't legally, if they don't have access to their course material online. We can't legally, you know, like so, counted against them. Right. So what? So K through six aren't getting anything? So like they, got, they got paper packets. Oh, um, gotcha. Okay. Worksheets and stuff like that makes sense. Yep. But yep. maybe only about a week and a half's worth at most. So we're not sure what. Now, I don't know that those kids would be able to motiv be motivated enough anyway to do it on their own. So a week and a half's worth might spread out evenly into three, four weeks, if that's right you know what happens, but um, the high school is mostly going to be online delivery. But again, we aren't really requiring it. So my feeling is only teachers who are comfortable with doing it, who have already been doing it are going to be the ones that do it. Yeah. Unfortunately. So. Well, I think that's where we can, we can provide some um, support 
adjacent to like there's a ton of free resources out there for learning and again mm-hmm. i'm sorry this this we'll, we'll have to get back to the calendar stuff in a second but there's tons of re- free resources for learning out there but they're all just so like um uh, spock in his little training tube you know isolation booth type stuff which which is right social distancing isolation is what they're calling for but like we're social creatures and social learning so us using even te- showing some um uh, teachers tools like this where they could maybe even just do like a read along or, or a little Q and a thing for the kids that want it, mm-hmm. that social interaction or the parents that want it. Right. I think yeah. there's value there. Now security is going to be a huge issue and all these other things, but like right now the rules have completely changed. Mm-hmm. So we have to do what's best for the learners in my mind. And yeah, K, uh, high school, these kids need to be able to manage their own time and take care of themselves. That's yeah. the reality. Um, K through eight, like, what can we do? And that's why I'm interested to hear from some of them. What can we do to help support them? So, yeah, I think the basics would probably be just setting up Google Classroom. Um, that's something that I have material that I've already distributed on how to do. Would and you that, be? Would sorry. you be? Would no? Would you be willing to do a, a, a Zoom session with me on that? Because I have no clue how Google oh, Classroom 100%, 100%. works. All right, let's let's get that on the calendar for um um sometime this week. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to hop back to, I'm going to hop back to mess around. I, I've yeah, showed how yeah. to do, uh, so I'm blocking off individual appointments mm-hmm. for myself for things that I want to do, especially checking email. Um, I'm probably going to put that in my email signature on when I check emails or post it somehow, some way. Yeah. Do you want me to show you something that I did? I, yeah. hundred percent. Uh, let's see if this will work. Um, you should be able to share your screen, right? Yeah. Oh, I can't when other person is participating. Oh, hold um, on. Here, if you want, though, I can send you a screenshot. Oh, hold on. Let me let let's see if I can make you. Uh, da, 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 da. Stop share. Okay. Can you share yeah. now? Yeah. Oh gosh, which window? Which window? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, I know. So, what I can do now, unfortunately, this only works on PC because I cannot do image for some reason gmail doesn't let you um they don't let you use the same signature here i'll show my face for mobile and uh desktop so like my desktop signature is separate from my mobile signature which really Really? sucks yeah because half my email i answer on mobile anyway but what i've done here is i can have hyperlink i can turn images into hyperlinks so on my end actually I'm actually working on trying to redo our esports schedule. It's like I have to push all our different um, games. So that may be a good webinar or, or a Zoom call we could do with maybe Nick Ryder. Okay. We, we should yeah. reach out to him to see if he wants to do anything to give some guidance. Because yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be doing the same thing for the college esports, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I I know I as a coach would really appreciate that because right okay. now. I have to push everything back three weeks, but anyway, so like, yeah, let's stick on calendar. We got, there's so much we could do. Let's yeah. stick on calendar. So like if I show, I've done this yep. just because for now it works. I'll probably do what you do and have like a specific time set up for each like specific task I want to get done. Right. The entire rest of it open. But in my signature, you can create an e- uh, image and then set it as a hyperlink. So people will get my email. They want to schedule time. They click here. And it'll take them to my public page to where yep. they can schedule times. So, so it's it, interesting. You you did with your calendar. You set up individual times, mm-hmm. individual slots instead of a general open slot space yeah. with with slots to book out. Get you to the same point, right? Yeah. Cool. And all right. And so, I mean, uh, sorry. No, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show people that I've only got 40 minutes to be able to do this. So I want to make sure I get that in. Okay. Yeah. But um, no. But thank you for sharing because that's awesome. Yeah. And you can do stuff like I did my LinkedIn and you can all, you can link whatever you want. So. Yeah. Can you see my calendar right now? Yep. All right. So I'm actually going to offer um, some office hours, basically from like three to five, at least for the first week. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to set these up as appointment slots and probably honestly the rest of the semester, just because students are going to have issues if they book up, then I'm in my office working on something else or working on stuff with them. If not, then it's kind of reserve time anyway. So um, appointment slots, uh, I can set the duration um, or I can make it a single slot. Let's leave it slots with duration. I'm probably gonna schedule like 20 minutes. I think that's 
more than enough. Maybe 15. We'll see. I mean, 15 minutes seems like it'd be enough to handle. Because what I'm anticipating here, these are just going to be individual questions. Yeah. People have on specific things that they need help with, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be office hours. And then I can make it a Zoom meeting, which it automatically is going to add in the link, all that kind of stuff here. Mm -hmm. And again, just like you said, showed, uh, go to appointment page for my calendar. This is a link that I'm going to be able to share out. And you can see uh, today, I don't have anything, but on Thursday, I've already set, scheduled in a whole bunch of uh, just general Q&A for mm -hmm. my learners. But then when things are normal <laughs> next week, uh, this is basically, well, that's my Monday. I actually wanted to make those happen every day. So let me go ahead and edit this. And then I can uh, add in the same repeat function, right? Yeah. And I can repeat this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and then I'll have this end. Um, again, I'm going to let everything go in, in beyond the semester just because I know that there's going to be questions. So like end of May for us. Yeah. Are they talking about extending your year at all? Yes. Um, oh, we already have uh, some schools that are four or five weeks optional and they'll probably, we're looking at either the governor will either forgive all weeks and forgive testing because testing is hell or we'll just extend. I expect we'll extend. I, I'm, yeah, I'm really, ex I mean, this may sound weird, but I'm excited right now because one of the things that remote learning, online learning has suffered from, I think is a lack of funds and, and attention. Yeah. Um, you know, it was only 20 years ago when I was in community college, when they started giving faculty, Hey, here's an online course shell, do something with it. And you know, the faculty had no training in what to do with, with this stuff. Um, so most just started porting over their PDF and their lecture slides and delivering tests and maybe using the grade book, right? Like yeah. we really haven't invested a lot of time and energy into remote learning, especially when it comes to maintaining the social aspect of how important those interactions face-to-face -face are synchronous, right? Synchronous, yeah. like we're doing right now, this interaction is so much more valuable than an email or anything else or just a one-way uh, one ticket. Yeah. Of communication. So what other questions um, do you have regarding or tips and tricks that with using your calendar? Do you have, I did have one thing and I didn't know, maybe this is just me. Um, and maybe this is just a K through 12 environment. What would you think of, I'm thinking of putting a QR code and a bit.ly link on my door with my public schedule, just in, you know, worst case scenarios so that way it's say they don't have an email from me or, you know, they don't have, Okay. Access. What do you think about that? I don't know. Um, it can't hurt. Yeah. Right. I, I think what you and I are comfortable with and the technologists are comfortable with right now and understand we have to realize 98% of the population are freaking out right now, especially mm -hmm. faculty who this has not ever been their world, right? Yeah. Like a microphone in front of their face, three computer screens in front of their face, talking to somebody virtually. That's not their word or there has not been their world. How do we reduce all that extra cognitive stress so that they can focus just on interacting, yeah. communicating their, their subject matter? So That's a, when I talk about that, I'm not talking about for this because I'm going to be the only one in the building. No one's going to be showing up. I just mean in general for controlling your calendar and, you know, using those appointment slots. Yeah, yeah. I'm, pro I'm probably going to post in social media the QR code with the link, right? Because that's all. And I don't want to overcomplicate things. QR codes are just ways to access URLs, links. Yeah. So that's yeah. Why you would do like a QR code and then a bit.ly underneath it because about 20% of the population knows how to even use a QR code anymore. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, if we look at my calendar for next week, I've got my time to do my emails. I've got... Um, uh, response time or uh, office hours code reviews that's specifically for a class um ooh, cis 120 so here's a class uh that i have i'm going to edit this this is a face-to-face -face class i'm just going to go ahead and make it a zoom meeting now mm -hmm. uh and then all of my settings from stayed the same previously and as i mentioned earlier at some point <clears throat> excuse me at some point probably after this week when I've communicated with my learners, I'm actually going to add in their emails to this. So this actually starts their calendar for them. Mm -hmm. But then like students put your work schedule in here and now work schedules are all jacked up too, right? Like you may not even be working. Um, 
but every other thing that you've got going on, put into your calendar, get control of your time, get control of your life. Because even after all this is over, the stuff that we're doing right now for, for managing our time and getting our poop in a group is vital for being successful. Coronavirus, H1N1, who knows whatever it is, right? Asteroid falling from the sky, who knows what the next thing's going to be. But um, keeping your keeping your having keeping a calendar and knowing what you're supposed to be doing when takes so much stress off of you that in times of high stress we want to minimize all these other things worrying about where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do should be the last thing that you have to worry about and if you use a calendar you can do that would you agree yes ever since even using those appointment slots that has been an amazing time in telling staff like yes i can help you check this and just schedule there because that's when yeah. I am available and that's the only time. Hey, l- hey let's do this, Alex. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we, we use Slack, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw this. Um, uh, is that you beeping or me beeping? That's me. Um, that is my server restarting and my UPS crying for help. Uh, there you go. I just shared the link with you in Slack. Okay. So now if you... Um, uh, da, 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 da. if you say yes or book a meeting, right here, let's show yeah. people, hold on. Let's, I'm going to show you, you share your screen now so okay. you can see what you see. Um, the other thing too, uh, Alex, we need to explore the zoom integration into Slack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So go yeah. ahead. and So you click that, uh, go here. This is Mike's calendar. So, so it's my open slots on your calendar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you lot. click right there. You can add in whatever you want. Yeah, I can keep it default. It'll just add my name by yep. default. Yep, so, so go ahead and save that. Yep. And then st- it disappears from the available slots to pick. So let me share my screen now. Uh, and then, bah, 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 bah. man, that server's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then if I come in here, what day did you pick? Was that Wednesday? Uh, I believe so. Was that this week or next week? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Uh, it was Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday this week. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Office hours, code reviews, Alex coming. Boom. Beautiful thing. I, I wish I- they could change it, though, to a different color. Because Ooh. when I have my whole day full of the blue slots by default, and then someone books a slot, it still stays, it still stays blue. So this is wild. Why is that not? Oh, oh do you want to know why? Because you have not I'm going to delete that because uh, my old calendar stuff, I did not have set up as a Zoom meeting. So you have to make it all. Zoom. Yeah. So those are my old calendar things. So I'm going to have to make all of my old uh, office hour appointments. Zoom, uh, enable the Zoom functionality on those. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, but here's my uh, Q&A individual sessions for this week. I've made those Zoom meetings. There we go. Edit this. uh, Make it a Zoom meeting. And what's nice, I've got a personal meeting ID. Uh, It's linked to my school Gmail account. Mm -hmm. Um, And then that URL automatically gets put into the meeting and into the location. And then you know where to show up. I think that new one I created. Yes, I did create that as a Zoom meeting. So yeah, this is going to be a fun time, man. But I think the biggest thing is going to be... um, uh, da, 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 da. yes da, 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 da. I think the biggest thing is going to be taking control of your time both as a faculty member as a learner um, administrators I mean I don't know any other way that you actually could do this so I went over I went over you know using the calendar to book your own time to preserve your own sanity um, I went and showed how to uh I didn't show how to add people to like this, but I could like this class right here, edit this event. Melanie Dusso co-teaches this with me. So I just have to put in that person's email address and then they're going to get an invite and can add that to their calendar. Um, if you want to do that. Uh, and then I also showed how to use the office hour appointment slots. I think the appointment slots is going to be huge for everybody, right? You got to be protective of your time right now. Faculty, you're going to have additional questions. Instead of responding to a thousand emails, just set up something like this that could be either a one on one session or I actually have group sessions uh, for questions set up. Um, advising, 
right? Your, your, your counselors, all those people could use that appointment slot thing if they're not already using it, not just for this, but going forward. So what do you think? Anything else that we got to chat about with the calendar? Oh, let's show the different views. Yeah. Weekly, I've actually started using, I eliminate weekends and just do five day a week and it's been. Uh, how really, do you do that? Uh, so if you go and uncheck show weekends, boom, that's my view. And I even minimize the sidebar with the, little, uh, uh, that and the other one, I just have my monitor on my right. It just has my, my week schedule. And, but that way I can see everything for the week. Right on. Nice. So, uh, do you see this meeting will end in ten minutes? Uh, on my I screen. Do. Oh, on your screen? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So Zoom by default only gives you forty minutes, but that's enough time to do something like this. If you're going longer than forty minutes, even in a lecture, you're you're going too long. I would argue. So yeah. Yeah. Here, here's my whole. Oh shoot! Now I got to delete that. Happy birthday, Lana. I'll have to hide that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want people to know things. FERPA, FERPA. that that's going to be a big, huge thing right now, right? Yeah. Um, FERPA, yeah. FERPA, FERPA. So yeah. So now I have to post-produce this thing. That's great. Um, the other yeah. view that people might like is this schedule view, because mm -hmm. that's a little bit easier to digest for people. Yeah. Than the whole big, gross. Yeah. So anyway, anyway. um, I'm going to take this video now. Uh, I'm going to have to throw it into uh, Adobe Premiere to do some post-production. Yeah. I'm going to spit out a video. I'm going to take that video, upload it to a transcription site. I'm going to get a full transcript. And then I'm going to upload this video to LinkedIn. Uh, actually, I won't be able to upload it to LinkedIn. Upload it to Facebook and to YouTube. And then I'll share the YouTube link in LinkedIn because LinkedIn caps you at 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, I don't know if you've seen... Uh, let me show you this other thing I'm doing because this will relate to distributing content. Uh, I've got a, let's see here, what's recent? I have a uh, document. Yeah. yeah, this document that's kind of sharing out all of the video links and transcript links because in the transcripts, obviously I'm attaching them to the videos, but I'm also going through and uh, creating them as Word docs with headings that are searchable. So, yeah. As much as possible, trying to do like creating content takes time. Mm -hmm. um, maximizing the amount of oh, you can't see my screen. Sorry, I thought I was screen sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an idiot. Um, but maximizing uh, content um, that's huge. Yeah. By by creating audio versions of it, video versions of it, because that's us out here. If you don't have uh, good internet, you can still listen to something. Yeah. So having an audio version is going to be important too. So, all right. Any other thing else, man? Cause I think I'm good. I feel like I've done what I wanted to do. Thanks for having me. No problem. Man. We're probably going to do this all week. All right. All right. Later, <laughs> Let me know man. when you want to do classroom and we can do that. Um, just put something on my schedule. Okay. On my calendar. Oh, you should page. <laughs> Ooh, hold on a second. Can we, can we show that though? Well, let's show that. Right. Oh, okay. Real, real fast. Okay. Cause we have a little bit of extra time. So if I'm in calendar mm -hmm. and I go to create, uh, and I'm going to go into the more options view cause that's better. And this is going to be, what are we going to do, Alex? We're going to talk about Google classroom. Yeah. We can talk about classroom, Google classroom. And then I can put you down, uh, here. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I can't see your calendar. That stinks. Probably cause we're different organizations. Uh, yeah. try we're, my, one that if we're might. in the same organization or you have it turned on uh yeah even then uh, i can't see it here. do you want me to uh, see if i can turn that on quick well no uh, let me see i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna see if i can add robert because he's part of our organization robert duncan uh yeah. suggested times then that pops up and it actually gives you times to recommend it for setting up the meetings so this is and, and again not just coronavirus or my wife and i are calling this the great toilet paper shortage of 2020 that's our <laughs> that's i had our someone try to sell me a toilet paper roll for five bucks yesterday <laughs> that's poopy <laughs> um but uh, uh like your organization using calendar across the board for everybody with their schedules like makes setting up meetings everything's so much easier like what we're doing right now it, it works beyond this yeah. These are best practices. Like we're being forced to resort to best practices because of 
what's going on, but like these are best practices just in general. So yeah. All right, Alex, I appreciate your time, man. Yeah, no problem. Hope to see you around. Yep. We'll do later. All right, folks. So again, Mike Vanderpool here at Northwest State Community College, um, just doing what I can to uh, try to help. Um, getting control of your time is going to be hugely important right now. Um, learners are going to freak out. People got a lot going on with family, uh, kids, all this other stuff. Getting control of your calendar is vital. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me individually. I might do this again, or as I continue to do these things, if you got questions and want me to show stuff, uh, more than willing to do that. But Google Calendar, get your stuff together, and it's going to take a lot of stress off of all the other things. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, let's let's keep learning.